What's up guys? It's your boy Kittens coming back to you guys. After a little bit of competitive gameplay at my locals, won myself a $10 slip and a foil promo pack. I figured we're going to open up the pack and I'll show you guys a little bit of my draft deck later. We did Commander Legends, so it was really nice. I haven't actually looked at uh, Strixhaven to see what is in the set that's valuable, so I'm excited. You know, I haven't done drafts in a long time. Ironically, funnily, I thought it, that today was going to be Competitive Commander, and it wasn't. It was, uh, so let's see what it is. That's actually next week, because that was like 10 days off. Dwarf Cleric. Instant and sorcery spells you control have a lifelink. Very cool card. I think that's pretty interesting for a four. It would be so cool if this was a commander. I love the art. Okay, cool, cool. Let's see what's on the underneath. Rip apart and wish caught talisman. Awesome, cool. And I am going to download and redeem this. So by the time you see this, it will be gone. <laughs> so I'm going to upload this probably later on. But Wish Claw Talisman, that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, this is a card that can go right into uh, right into my Prismatic Dragons deck. And Rip Apart? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have a home for this. So this is really awesome. I'm really glad. I got, you know, spent 15 for the draft, got $10 back from the win, and got this. So I figure what we'll do is just go over my commander deck, what I was able to draft up. We did a brawl. Uh, I ended up getting Togo and Essir, the Ward Wing Familiar. Pretty easy, fast and easy, two to three. Uh, but Togo was actually super powerful. Uh, it was actually kind of hilarious because he gives your creatures the um, a rock, so you have to pay to equip the rocks and then pay to sacrifice the rock and tap the creature to ping something for two. But there's so many good creatures that are like two twos or four fours in Commander Legends that it literally just became really powerful mid game and I could, got to target down some of my opponent's really good permanence. And that was ultimately what ended up uh, causing me to win was just like a couple of ideal triggers mid game. You know, the cards that I felt like were really powerful and actually worked really well, put uh, put away together, Gale Strike and Confiscate. I was able to use put put away together as like a weird card that like I bounced one of my um like my one of my opponents targeted one of my other opponents with a card so they couldn't use their creature, like bounce their creature so they could replay the creature and they like attacked the other opponent. I was like, yes, yes, attack each other. Fight, <laughs> you know, so I don't die. And then one of the other things that you know, really helped in the deck is just little draw cards like Preordained, Strategic Planning, Supreme Will I thought was fun, but it didn't really work for the counter side. I ended up getting it late game and the pay three just didn't help me for anything. And then uh, hopefully using this to get this didn't work out for the games, didn't, never used it, but that was the whole idea of it. And then the major creatures that were really, really powerful, really awesome, Maestrom Colossus got me a free creature. that really nice 7-7 seven, seven body. It was able to block pretty much everything in the set. It was a pretty big... Uh, threatening presence on the board. It was kind of the biggest, baddest thing for the longest time uh, that anyone was able to play. And the other thing, uh, Amphibian uh, Mutineer, really great spot removal card. Can come back and remove three separate things later on. I didn't end up bringing him back, but uh, I could have. And Coastline Marauders, this is what ended up closing the game out. I ended up attacking uh, towards everyone for about 10 or so. Uh, and then just like removing a creature from combat and like, you know, to kill a couple players. It was just a super intense game. So uh, this one's super important. Everything else is kind of just like there, just stuff in there. Uh, nice card for this, being able to dig through and find stuff, but just want to show you guys what I found. Just the like generic small stuff. Oh, Hole Breacher. Yeah, I didn't get the Hole Breacher anybody, but I did also get the uh, freaking the Wheel of Fire, or what's it called? Oh my god, I, I could have done it too. Yeah, Wheel of Misfortune. Yeah, I could have. I Wheel of Misfortune, and I drew into Hull Breacher from it. I thought that was hilarious. So here are some of the other cards. Undying Rage was good too. Uh, it worked a little bit modularly where I could, you know, target my opponent's stuff so they couldn't block later in the games. And it was, uh, you know, you know, obviously kept coming back and giving me some hand advantage. Um, and some of the other stuff didn't really use, but yeah, so cool. Well, that's pretty much the deck. Other, other than ramp, you know, this is the amount of ramp that I was able to get. I got four mana rocks, felt good. Don't feel like I really wanted or needed anything else. So hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and hopefully this is maybe not my last win in draft, although I normally don't draft. I really just thought today was gonna be a competitive commander game, but it literally was just 10 days before. Someone was like, it's the 13th, it was the 23rd. Whatever, life, so. You know, I'll show you guys that later on. I'm working on my competitive deck. Have some cards in the mail coming. I'll be ready for that. And hopefully, I'll be able to win that deck too, or win uh, that those games. But my play group is pretty competitive. Very powerful players. Everyone's like mana crypted out and all that jazz. So, hope you guys again have enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. It's been your boy Kittens. Peace.